What'd you say? Fruit or vegetables? Two oranges. Okay. Two oranges. I have to look at them. Okay. Okay, hold on. So what happened? Oh, so I took out the oranges. They didn't have stickers that said California fruit. They didn't have any sticker actually. So I had to give them to her. You guys are gonna ask me what trail this is? I have no idea, none. It's just the trail I'm on right now, off the freeway, wherever. Found a little lake here on the side of the road we're gonna check out. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is a pretty cool little lake. It looks like a little camp spot here. I might put it on my Onyx maps, map it. I don't know, let's check it out, see what we got. Fish? Where? Oh yeah, a little sunfish or something. Northern California. We just passed the Tule Lake area about 40 minutes ago. So we're probably parallel to like uh, Shasta, maybe? Look at that bark. No, hey, yeah. C4 has been blessed by a moth. We're having a good trip. My wife's with me. We're headed down to the Arizona Overland Expo 2024. Be pretty fun. Hopefully get to see a bunch of people.
I'm positive that roof is not rainproof. There, that's the Nevada line, and this is California. We went off on a little road here, and you see we're we're tracking up the side of the mountain. Just seen some antelope. That was pretty cool. Super cool.
Made a track on here to mark a spot for photography i just made a track we're on the, the main interstate but i looked off into the sides and i was like okay i want to come back here so what i did was i i hit go track and i'm making a two mile track and then i'll put a label waypoint on it so i know next time i come through that this be an area that i don't want to miss so that's what i'm doing with onyx off-road so we're heading north on interstate 93 and here on my maps, I'm using this one, just the regular Google, for tracking where I'm going. This one here, I'm looking at contours of the land to see if that's something I want to go off-road. This is showing me Onyx, which trails there are available. So the blue ones we know are going to be a little more difficult. The green ones are going to be piece of cake and easy. So I'm looking, and then I, what I do is I go in and I click on them. Anyways, you can go through here. It's rated as 6. And you can go through the Onyx program, and then you can look at then I like looking at, oh, they didn't have no pictures. Sometimes they have pictures. So if they have pictures, I like looking at the train, but if they don't have pictures, I won't detour off my route too much without on a trip like this where I'm on a deadline, because I'm supposed to be back home by Wednesday, which is three days. So that's basically running what, let's say nine hours running every day on the road. And then I get a hotel, shower, shave, go get going the next day, get home. And then we got all these videos to upload and produce and share with all you guys my friends and uh anyways there at the expo it was great I, we had a great time i met a lot of great people and i can't wait to see them at the redmond show at the pacific northwest redmond expo 2024 that will be awesome to see all the people i met again and uh maybe we can get together and uh go out and do a ride in a trail Donkeys. You wish you can get on the other side of that fence, don't you? Mm. You know, I hear you. Yep.
telling you right now, Either I don't like this. I am not a passenger, okay? I'm not a passenger. And I'm not broken right now, so I believe I should be driving because she's going way too fast. <laughs> Here you, you want to see? Here we go. I have to be doing something else when she's driving, otherwise I lose my mind. Road construction, you know how that is? You wait forever in line and then this happens. So, we're headed home. We're in Northern California, about an hour and a half south of Klamath Falls, Oregon. And uh, we pull off the road here and we're going to have a snack. Been driving, uh, let me see, I drove six hours. Monica's drove in two hours. And uh, we're taking turns. Anyways, it's pretty cool around here. Northern California in the spring. This is May, towards the end of the month. Let's take a quick little break. Enjoy the environment that we're in. Monica, what are we doing? Cheese and crackers and Red Bull? Yep, cheese, crackers, Red Bull. I do have an account. Wait a minute, did you just hit? Are you guys doing that? Is the Red Bull for you? She won't let me go no, you, you're driving, you need the Red Bull. What do you do? You making it for crackers. There. Oh, that's a nice knife. Yep, it works. And then we got the cut stack. I've got the cut stack, but I know I'm going to need more than the cut stack, so I just okay. make my other stack. <laughs> we should. Don't get any money to anybody on social media. It's a mess. Hey guys, so I got me a new bike electric bike and uh, I've been doing these expos, overland expos, and I need some transportation to get around the expos because there's so much to see and I want to show you guys more content. So I I reached out to these guys and uh, we're going to try this bike out and I think it's it's what I want. It I looked for something that was off-road, weather resistant, you know, we're overlanders. I'm looking for something kind of tough and affordable. So, but I want high quality. So I picked up this bike, the KBO, and this is the K1. And uh, I chose the green because I like green. This will be my first electric bike. And I like the fatter tires because of course we do everything off road. And if I get in a rescue situation, I'm gonna need to be able to get from my vehicle out. And it said it had a 40 something mile range. So at 20 miles an hour, that's faster than I can walk and farther than I can walk in one day, so I like that. back from Arizona and this is a nice staging area we're meeting up with my sister and brother-in-law and we're gonna go on a trip well when I got back <clears throat> I was expecting a bike for overlanding and so I've been searching on the internet for something that would fold up and that we could use for overlanding let's say for instance if I get stuck out there and I don't want to walk 45 miles back to town. Well, this bike's capability is 45 miles. So I've been testing it and I've got, you know, I think I got like 15 miles on it. Let me turn it on here. I got it all rigged up because this is how I'm going to be using it. So I've got a GoPro right there. Let 
Look at how much charge it's got. This is fantastic. Anyways, this is the power button. This is the assist level. This is down. And this goes from trip, this button here, trip, time, mileage, back to trip. Anyway, so I'm getting it all set up for photography. And uh, so we got a mount here, mount here for my phone. And because what I do is I control the cameras from my phone. So I don't have to touch the cameras once I get them done. Then I've got my setup over here. I'm going to put a head mount on. And that way I can use the bike as an accessory to uh, videoing for my channel. So, and I'm also wanting something that I can put up on the truck. Up in here, back seat or something that's collapsible. And what I like about this one is it's totally collapsible. I love it. Monica's got some video of me riding it. Um, I'm going to take it camping with me over there in Central Oregon here this coming Monday and I'm going to shoot a whole video basically because I approve it and this is something I will take to Alaska and I like its water resistance so check it out. It's the KBO K1. Well, I'm going to take her for a quick spin. Hey so as I'm going here we go. Five point six. This needs to be adjusted. There we go. This is shifting. So I'm just doing a test, everybody. And what I'm doing here is I'm seeing how my cameras are positioned so I can do a better show for you guys off-road. Uh, I'm gonna add some more elements to our show. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've done over 15 miles on it and I love it. I don't know what to tell you. See it in action. Look for it on our next show. We're gonna be going over to a town called Sisters and we're going up in the hills there on some trails that Onyx Overland has got there on their maps and Spartan Forge has got going there and Garmin. Uh, so I've got three maps all dialed in, ready to finish some trails that we started but we couldn't. Hit the bell down below. Oops, oh, I got dust in my brakes. Anyways, if you hit the bell down below, what that does is that will notify you when I have a video out. So usually we have one a week and sometimes we have two. Uh, sometimes we have one in the middle of the week that basically is talking about and showing items that I'm going to be taking on my Alaska expedition this year uh, into Southeast Alaska. And so I'm trying to get all geared up and I've been doing tons of research and I'm trying to pick the best products for the best value. Tell you what folks, this electric bike, I like the size. It's convenient and uh, what 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 really impressed me about this bike also is it had good suspension. The front suspension on here is amazing. It's a lot more value than I realized. And the back, the, it's got disc brakes. It's a pretty nice part. As we wrap this video up, thanks everybody for watching our video so far. Special shout out to everybody that's donated some time and some effort into our videos. We surely appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. I'm out here at night on the gravel. Coming back to my trailer. There's the neighbor's trailer. Here's my truck. <laughs>